in Japan that the suspect has told the police that he was dissatisfied with the former leader, with Shinzo Abe, and that he aimed to kill. That's the latest that we're getting from the questioning which is currently underway of uh, the gunman who has been taken into custody from the spot itself. Uh, Tetsuya Yamagami, a 41-year-old, has now told the police that he was dissatisfied with Shinzo Abe and he aimed to kill. Dr. Liu, coming back to you, apologize for interrupting you over there. Please go on. Yeah, so I, I think, um, well, Shinzo Abe is very important in inter international politics. So with his assassination, uh, we don't know what will happen to him, but, um, well, this will deliver a big shock to the Japanese, not only in, to the political, uh, domestic political situation of Japan, but also in the international poli politics as well. Because Abe will be a stabilizer for the current Japanese government in the inauguration of Quad. And uh, with his uh, disability, at least for now that we know that, well, for the future, we hope that the Japanese government can still stick to the Quad. Um, well, although, well, I think now as the situation goes with the rising of China as a threat and the awakening of right. the Japanese and the uh, US government, I think Quad will be, still be here. Okay, okay, Quad will still be here. Uh, we'll, of course, uh, discuss that uh, in length as well, at length as well. Dr. Liu, request you to stay on with us. Christian Martini is at the spot in Nara City. He's reporting for India Today. He, of course, uh, is bringing us all the little details of the investigators that are at the spot currently co collecting evidence as well. Uh, Christian, reports are, of course, suggesting, as you were telling us earlier as well, that the suspect who is currently in police custody has told the police that he was dissatisfied with the former leader, Shinzo Abe, and that he aimed to what more can you tell us about the questioning which is underway, Christian? Well, there's just one thing that uh, you might you might wanna you might wanna know. Um, we don't know again like how how truthful it is, but the uh, 2:47 uh, local time uh, apparently Abe is being going on in the IC units, and there might be these are some reports coming out. There might be uh, surviving chances for him, whether just a uh, um, few minutes ago, like we would give him almost uh, uh, for uh, not being able to survive. So this is one thing and let's, uh, let's hope uh, to continue to have those uh, updates uh, from the ICU units here in Nara. But uh, as we see uh, at the moment, they are still working on the very, uh, on the on the shooting side, uh, you see they put their marks all over the road, all over uh, this uh, crossing road. So from here, from this perspective, you can actually see it better. You can you can see there's the train right there uh, and the station. So this is like a B line uh, right after right uh, uh, at the exit of the north uh, side of the station. And um, there's uh, these investigators are scrambling now for uh, for marking everything that it's uh, um, can be marked uh, you know whatever they found there evidence uh, from the shooter or evidence from the gun itself uh, um, then uh, they are uh, they are taking still taking measures and uh, and this thing doesn't seem to stop actually so more people have come from the investigations um, on this, uh, on the, at this time, uh, it do doesn't seem like, like they, it's weird. They're all wearing, so they're actually searching for genetic material, I'm sure, because they're all wearing masks and, and they're keeping something for their heads. So they're also trying to find some, see right, right here, we see an investigator right there, right there looking inside this bush for something, maybe scrap nail from the shotgun. We don't know, but it's, uh, this is uh, this is live investigation at the moment right here and then over there we are having uh, these other people with somebody bringing a box there uh, probably a cooler box for again for probably uh, material they have to be analyzed and uh, kept in the frozen for for not uh, deteriorate, deteriorating during the transport but uh, but uh, yeah this uh, this investigation is live and well going on uh, at the moment here at the site.
Right. So that investigation currently underway on the ground. As you can see, uh, those uh, investigators in blue suits, uh, hazmat suits, uh, who are in fact uh, at the spot right now, who are of course collecting evidence as we speak. Christian Martini is of course bringing us those live reports. Dr. Roger Liu is also with us, Associate Professor, professor at uh, the Flame University. Uh, so one of the things that the suspect reportedly has told the police during his questioning is that he was dissatisfied with Shinzo Abe, the former leader. Were there any policy decisions or any reasons for which uh, Shinzo Abe was unpopular on the ground? Well, I, I don't think he is unpopular, but um, well, we have, we still need to, uh, you know, explore what actually behind that assassin's uh, intention. Um, as I know that he expressed that he is not happy about Shinzo Abe, but not politically. So we, has, we, we have to find out. But Shinzo Abe can be a controversial figure because first, he supports uh, the uh, more aggressive or more constructive roles of Japan uh, in international politics. So like, um, he, he proposed the, the re revision of the ninth article of the Japanese constitution which it gives Japan more active roles in, um, you know, um, peaceful um, uh, participation or strategic participation in regional affairs. That's the first thing. Second thing is that Abe is a right-wing um, politician. So he, um, he proposed that Japan should be more uh, pro, uh, I mean, not imperialism, but the role of uh, uh, Japan's um, um, emperor should be more and Japan should be more active. So I think for the left-wing uh, element in the Japanese politics, a lot of people are not happy about that. But um, taking uh, assassination is another way. I, I think this is a terrorist attack um, towards the Japanese politicians. So um, I, I think we should watch closely um, the development of the Japanese politics, whether there's a rising of this kind of dissatisfaction, not only from one person, but uh, from some elements as well.